Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Diane. And I'm Dr. Paul Massif. Steve and I are here in one of the most image conscious cities in the world, Beverly Hills. In fact, Paul, people are image conscious everywhere. Even in Chicago, people are image conscious, but I don't think it's anything like LA. Okay, well, hold on. Let me hear about that first. Tell me about how they feel about themselves and their image in Chicago. Well, they care about their image in Chicago, but I will tell you this, Paul, when they come into my office, every single time they say to me, but I don't want to look like I'm from LA or New York. It's a Chicago thing, what can I tell you? So it's the whole East West Coast thing. Okay, but let me yeah. ask you this. Let's say they want lip fillers or something. Yes. Do they want to look improved or different? Although it's changing with time a little bit. What, where, what in Chicago? Well, the people from Chicago generally say, I don't want anyone to know I had anything done. The younger generation that's coming in today though, is starting to request enough of a treatment that you can see the difference. Well, that's because of selfies and everything else. Because remember, everyone is taking photos of themselves. They're filtering it. They're using it on social media. Remember, everyone is a celebrity. Everywhere across the world is a celebrity because of social media. We actually did a study on this earlier last year, and we had people take pictures of themselves with a mm -hmm. selfie. And then we had people who didn't know them judge their photos. And what was interesting was that the people who took their selfies, they liked themselves on the selfie better than the average person who looked at them. Like the average person likes a regular picture of you more than, than, than they like the selfie of you. So we, we, we choose our selfies, but other people don't. You know, with my patient population, especially doing a lot of revision surgery, um, there might be a little bit of fear in doing another procedure again, or if they've never had a procedure, they have that fear of, okay, what if I don't like the results? Um, what happens if there's a complication? So they keep coming in over and over again, discussing a possible treatment, but then never doing it. But it was interesting, you mentioned thing. something, they're afraid of what might happen. So it's this fear of the unknown. Yes. And how do we dispel that fear of the unknown? Some people do video imaging, what do you yeah, do? I talk about risks, especially in the first consult. But I, I will tell you, I've learned, maybe in the beginning when I was first starting out, we might push a little bit more that patient to get the procedure done, but now, as I've aged and we're settled, we don't push. We yeah. wait till they come to us. Yeah. But we both have colleagues that will do surgery to the extreme. And there are patients that want it and there are physicians that like doing it. So it's really important to find the doctor that's best for you. I mean, don't you agree? Oh yeah, I mean, we have a lot of doctors in Beverly Hills that actually will do very extreme things. But yeah. thank God we don't do that. What has not changed? Well, there is and always will be some risk to plastic surgery. And the happiest patients always will be those who have realistic expectations and who know when enough is enough. We'll talk about that topic, when enough's enough, in another episode of Beneath the Surface. Look for it. And join us next time when we'll share the secrets of building a productive partnership with your doctor. The secrets? You know what I mean. I honestly don't, but then I often don't. And that's another thing that's never gonna change. We'll see you soon.